that's ingenious. Yes. Well, Thank helping you. those kids out. Oh, exactly. Oh. Speaking of ingenious. <laughs> ingenious or genius? <laughs> Whichever. Wait, okay. Well, I know what you meant. <laughs> Speaking of this guy. Did you find your clicker? I did. Genius. Thank you. <laughs> I had to go to like 20 rooms in the building. We heard the chaos. We were it's trying bad. to do a newscast. It's bad when you're checking the bathrooms for us. But we anyway, knew what we're was good. going on. We're good. We're good. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Okay, really uh, though, yeah. lots of rain has already fallen. Yeah, we. you know, it's, it's varied from a quarter to... Some areas upwards of near an inch, but a lot of areas about wow. a quarter to a half an inch. So yeah, pretty good for this time of year. That's a really, really good rain. Nice. It's going to go on all evening long. It's just going to be very light. We're going to have drizzle around, so a damp, wet evening. The roads will be wet all evening long. Going to have a little fog out there, and it'll be chilly. And oh yeah, the wind's going to pick up. So wind chills this evening will drop into the low 40s, even some upper 30s mixed in. All right. So we have Jeremy Carter. He's still out. We have Val Castor. He's still out and about. Roadways are. Not as, uh, well, not as crazy as they were during the 4 o'clock newscast when, <clears throat> yeah, the rain was heavy. We had ponding on the roadways, but we turned out all right. But, man, it is, it's, uh, it's a typical, classic November day. Not snow, just rain. Everything took off west of Oklahoma City. This kind of first wave is moving off to the northeast at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. So it's moving. want to point out. Another thunderstorm taking off. Talked about this earlier, taking off southeast of Altus. That's going to head east. That'll produce some wind and some hail down there. We'll keep an eye on that. But what's going on up north? New Kirk, Ponca City, back down to Stillwater, Kearney, Cushing. Good rains in here, heavy rain. This is what came through Oklahoma City. You might have a few pockets of some small hail. Nothing crazy, nothing severe, right? But uh, we are tracking that. And here in Oklahoma City, the green is light rain and drizzle. And this is going to go on all evening long. So if you have an evening plans, yeah, temperatures will drop into the 40s. The light rain and or drizzle will continue. So a damp, raw, ugly evening. A little bit of hail in Lincoln and Payne County right now. Rain amounts with this wave that went through the last couple of hours, quarter to a half to some areas, more than a half inch of rain. Here in Oklahoma City, look at that shot. Wow. Yeah, 50 degrees now. We're going to be in the upper 40s here the next uh, couple of hours. Northwest wind at 17. The wind's going to pick up too, so get ready. It's going to blow this evening. Our humidity at 100%. So there's your cold front. Even some upper 40s already coming in out ahead of it. 60s and 70s. Remember the 70s we've had the last couple of days? Yeah. Say goodbye to those, right? So 70s to our east. Cold front is eastbound and down. It'll take the 70s and get rid of them. North winds behind the front, gusting 25 to nearly. 30. All right, so here's what's going on right now. Upper storm to the north, strong jet stream coming out across Oklahoma. The main part of this energy is producing a lot of snow now to our north, but there's your cold front that's tied to that ball of energy. So that moves east. Cold air comes in tonight and tomorrow. We're talking highs tomorrow in the 40s. All right, about the same on Saturday. Cold Saturday morning, really cold. And then by Sunday, back to the 50s out ahead of this. Now, this, I think, is a done deal as far as getting precipitation on Monday. But the deal is, is where is the cold air? Exact track of that upper low. I think, we'll, I think we will see snow in Oklahoma, but the ground temperatures are pretty warm. And if it happens during the afternoon or late morning, a lot of it's going to melt. But we'll, we'll say rain changing to snow Monday. Could be as early as Monday morning into the afternoon. Not for everybody, though, okay? Not everyone's going to get snow out of this. The most likely area right now would be across western and possibly southwestern Oklahoma, the way it looks. And then we'll get a break, cold, and then the next storm for the end of next week comes out by next uh, Wednesday and Thursday, and more cold air in behind that. So Monday looks like this. Rain, a winter mix, rain mixed with snow. If we get rain mixed with snow, there's no accumulation at all, right? It's not going to stick if you have raindrops mixed in. So that's going to be a, a factor as well. But if we can change over to all snow, there might be a couple of areas, western, southern, maybe southwestern Oklahoma, that pick up maybe a couple of inches of a wet snow. But all in all, I think the roadways right now look to be like, oh, they're going to be in pretty good shape overall, just wet. All right, this evening, a 100% chance of rain. A few storms in here running from eastern, central, back down towards Lawton back down to Ardmore eventually here. So this is all going to fill in with rain and drizzle. Overnight tonight, it's kind of a long and east of I-35. It'll be wet, but the rain in Oklahoma City overnight, it will gradually, it'll gradually come to an end later tonight. Rainfall amounts, how much more are we going to pick up? A eh, quarter, half an inch. There might be a couple of areas that pick up an inch. 
if we can get that thunderstorm down here to crank up down there. But, you know, quarter, half an inch, I think it's a pretty good number or two. And then what about severe weather? Not expecting any. This is what we've had the last couple of days. A few of the storms, mainly east now, producing some small hail and gusty winds. Okay, so lows tonight. When you get up in the morning, it'll be in the 30s, 40s down south, 20s in the northwest. Winds tonight at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Highs tomorrow, upper 30s and low 40s. Now, there's a ball of energy that's going to come out tomorrow afternoon. By the way, wind chills in the morning will be in the teens and 20s. Wind chills in the afternoon will be in the 20s and 30s. All right, that's your Friday. That's how you end it, right? Now, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, storm system swings out. We could see a little bit of some light rain. And in that light rain, we might see a little bit of some sleet mixed in. The most likely area will be across southern and southeast Oklahoma. All right, no travel problems with that. Look at low temperatures Saturday morning. 20 in Ponca City, 25 in Oklahoma City, 28 in Ardmore, 20 in Alva. So a free zone for Friday night, Saturday morning. If you haven't had a hard freeze yet, most of us have, you're going to have one coming up Friday night and Saturday morning. Cold again Sunday morning, but Sunday afternoon, a high of 52. Monday, cloudy, wet. We're going to see some rain. We're going to try to mix some snow in with that or change over to snow, at least for a while in Oklahoma City. It's going to be a close call between rain, rain mixed with snow and some snow. 35 Monday afternoon and then Tuesday back up to the 40s, colder Wednesday, another storm Thursday, Friday. We're still watching that, not locked in, but uh, that could be something interesting for us as far as winter weather. We're tracking that. And again, next week, cold, more cold days than anything. Next week, we are in it to win it with uh, November coming in strong. Guys.